We bought our house in 2004. Oh, I fell in love with it from the first moment. We were so happy when we got the keys, I began to cry. And Rob said, why were you crying? And I said, I said, I never thought we would own our own home. From day one, I knew this would be where I would retire and grow old with Rob. Rob and Debbie Henry are losing their home, and they're not alone. Thousands of families like theirs are being evicted from their homes around Detroit and across the nation. So on December 6th, the Occupy movement, in conjunction with community organizations to stop foreclosures, such as Occupy Our Homes, held rallies at the homes of people like the Henrys in Southgate and like Kyra Williams in Detroit, who was renting her home with an option to buy until something went wrong. The actual landlord had went into foreclosure without my knowledge knowing and he just disappeared on me so I went to court to try and fight to keep the house. Um, I was told that I wouldn't be able to get it and then it was changed, it was taken back. They fought it in court for the past two years, they cut a deal with City Mortgage where they actually agreed to sell the home to Miss uh, Williams with the support of her church and community who was going to help her get this home. A month ago, after agreeing to this city mortgage, reneged on the deal. But these foreclosures didn't happen accidentally. Many of them were the result of greed and deception. Take the case of Paramount Land Holdings. The police and fire pension board in this city gave these rip-off artists $10 million to buy up foreclosed homes in the city of Detroit. They did. They bought up 2600 They got the houses so cheap, they got some of them for a dollar, for $10, that when they sold them to people, People paid a down payment of a thousand or made a couple of monthly payments, five or six hundred. These ripoff artists made off like bandits. Because of pressure from the community, the bank is backing down. Kyra received some good news. Since this coalition has been mobilizing, City Mortgage has actually called us and been in negotiations and have assured us in good faith that they will be working with us to allow her to remain in this home. This is a cause that is needed, and I want to let other people know that if they are afraid they can come forward, they don't have to take it, they can fight too. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. The Henrys also received an extension. We've got 10 days, and then Fannie Mae said they were so gracious they'd give us another 10 days. Oh. And then they told us that since Wayne County doesn't do any foreclosures, we've got till January 2nd. They're planning to hold another rally on January 2nd to resist their eviction if the bank is not willing to work with them plan to join them at their home in Southgate at 13694 Helen the day after New Year's to show your support.